Hello, my name is Smiley and I'm Jack for the Rock Family Gamers, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And today, I will be showing you Kerbal Space Program 1.05. And this is probably my favorite update of all time. I mean, they had such cool stuff. So, to start off, I'm going to show you the parts. So, what is new? Well, we're gonna show this is size. So first of all, they added, they remodeled, and redid all the jet engines. So we have the Juno, which is new. It's the tiny. It only puts out about 20 kilonewtons of thrust. Very low. It's the first one you get. Then there's the Weasley turbofan, and this one does about 120 kilonewtons of thrust. And I think this was the, no, this, mm, I can't tell which, I, th this one was the one that we had before the update, other than the whiplash, the panther, um, but this one's, um, 85 kilonewtons or 130, I know what's the difference, no. and there's the Weasley, which is 120, so, it's pretty nice. It's a turbo fan. The Panther is an after burning turbo fan. All the models look really nice in this update. I think they were all done by Port Jet. Now the Whiplash has these intakes that look outstanding. This is a really good looking model. They also added the Goliath, which <laughs> is a Goliath. You can see all the way through, but is a um, turbo fan, and this is um, has 360 kilonewtons of thrust. But this model looks outstanding. This is what you're gonna use for your really big carrying jets with the like the big ones. And another engine they added. This is brand new. This is the Vector. It's based on the shuttle engines from real life, and. Dang, this thing looks amazing, in my opinion. It has, let's look at the stats. It's super powerful, 1,000 kilonewtons of thrust in a vacuum. But it, it has a very good ISP. And it has a 10.5 degrees of vectoring, which is completely nuts. So, I will show you, I'll put something together, just a real rocket, normal rockets. I'm gonna need just that, and then the vector. It's so small, but for the amount of thrust it puts out, it's completely insane. So, watch this, and I will show you how much this vectoring is. So, I think we can probably even see it on the pad. You can already see it swaying from it. But if we just put it down real low, you can see the vectoring. This thing. I can turn this thing. So insane. This is gonna be like the best landing engine ever. I mean, I can just wait for this. Thing. I can just go like that, which you can never do. But this thing, you can just see it turn. This is how the shuttle can have a asymmetric point of thrust, I think that's what it's called. Where the thrust is on one side and more mass is on the other. It's not symmetrical, but this is just stand but you can imagine like landing on this thing you can change your direction so if I just you can land extremely easy it's perfect for it. landed it <laughs> landed it <laughs> sort of but that's that. It has an extremely cool, in my opinion.
because you can create shuttles now that aren't extremely hard to do. And another thing they've added is the Mark III cargo ramp, so you can drive rovers into your cargo holds now, which is super cool. They also had the passenger module, so you can make like Mach 3 jets now, like airliners. Anyway, that is extremely cool in my opinion. All of it's very useful. Um, oh, they changed the um, Mach 1 cockpit, how it looks. So, <laughs> it looks like almost like a, um, what's it called? I forget what it's called. But it looks really good. All these models look really good in my opinion. And then they added, they redid like the Mach 1 fuselage, the liquid fuselage. And then they have the Mach 0 fuselage, which is for the um, little Juno, which is right here. But <laughs> it's so tiny. But you can actually make stuff that flies this way. And they also. What else did they add? I can't think of it. Um. But they redid a ton of stuff. All looks. Ooh, I haven't seen this. Ma I've actually haven't looked at this before. Mach two to three. I don't know why you would need that. Like, that'd just be like ridiculous. But all oh, very cool. What's this? Oh, and also, let's actually launch one of the pre-made rockets now they have, which is really cool, exceptionally cool. This might be, like, it's called the Dia, Dino Wing, but look at this. It works outstanding. It's a shuttle. It has two of these engines down here. Oh, this is the thing that you added to. Where is that? I haven't found that yet. I'm going to look at that. I'll have to look at that. But this thing is just magnificent. So let's launch this and show you. I'll show you how awesome it is. So, T minus five seconds to launch. Five, engine start. Three, two, one. And it flies beautifully with these Spectre engines. Turn down the sound a little. It's quite obnoxious. Not that low. But you can control this thing so well to use these vector engines. They have these big S elevons, and they work really well too. I mean, I can turn this thing over. This thing can get to orbit. But yeah, actually, it can easily get to orbit. It has these um, place anywhere or you know, wrong things. These puff monopropellant fuel things, and you and it they can, they are really good for this so you, this thing will rock it oh, hold on. But it looks like it also has a clampatron on the front and rcs ports all over and this thing is just outstanding so if we just accelerate oops that's what happens when you accelerate time Oops. <laughs> Doesn't have a parachute, I should note. <laughs> but that is that. I think this is probably the best update we've had. But it's just an outstanding update. Where is that part? 
I want to find it because I need to use it. Where is it? Hmm. I'll have to find that. But this is a great update. And they've added a ton of new stock. Um like engines. I mean not engines. Things. Stock built planes and rockets and it just superb. But I've been smiling on Jack for Rock Bomb Hammers and I'll see you guys next time on Kerbal Space Room. That's what it is. <laughs>